originally it was a, oh, trip to London. That sounds like fun. It'd be a good thing to do with a break. Maybe get a little vacation in. Um, but then as I kind of looked into it and heard a little bit more, it was like, wow, that's actually, it seems like a really cool, uh, the Gordon Museum of Pathology and just getting to see some of the history of, of medicine. Um, I think made the trip a little bit more than just a vacation. Really, it was an opportunity to show students many of the diseases that they'd already seen and heard about. As you are learning about the information and reading about all the diseases and the, the mechanism of the diseases, you forget that people's lives are intertwined with the pathologies. So the program itself is technically four days long. The students uh, have to find their own way to London. I tell them where to be. We, I sent them pictures of a little diner across from the Fleming Museum. Uh, and they had to be there at 9 o'clock on, on Monday morning. The first museum that we got to go to was the Alexander Fleming Museum, and I probably geeked out over that because we got to see the exact place where Fleming discovered penicillin. It was a really great opportunity not just to uh, learn about pathology, but also to build a closer relationship with the faculty that were going and, of course, the students. Getting to know the professors was very special privilege because when you are in a different foreign country you see them in a different setting environment and you get to talk to them in a deeper level. To be able to see the pathology of the body is something that every single physician is working with on a daily basis. I mean that's really what our job is, is working with people who, who have something going on or have some problem. In the old operating theater our tour guide actually did a a dramatization of a surgery from the 1700s where there was no anesthesia and she demonstrated to us how they would amputate a patient's leg um, with the real tools that they would have used. Um, of course nobody was injured but it was just a really fun demonstration. The highlight of the trip for me and the reason why I really put this together was the Gordon Museum where there are thousands of pathology specimens Every single one of them comes with a case history and the student can pick up this specimen, they can pick up and hold this heart and see the defects and see the congenital abnormalities that we've been talking about with every system. There's not a lot of places that, that collect and keep such a wide range and such quality specimens to the point that you can actually just go to the shelf and pick it up and move it around and look and, and see the diseases as they exist, as they exist in the world, as opposed to just the explanation of it from somebody. My favorite opportunity was uh, being able to present using the specimens. So, you know, it's one thing to learn in the classroom and to see pictures, but it was really amazing and I think it like helped to bring the disease to life and helped people understand it more. Our plan is to do this every year. Um, I have plans to return again next August. So this is something that will continue on in the future and, and our goal is to increase our numbers and get as many students there as possible. What was really great about this experience was that it was learning together in an active way, talking about the pathologies we were seeing, really doing what doctors should do, which is, you know, discuss what you're seeing and talk out what happened and what you think happened and um, how you think you would treat this person and so on and so forth. And I mean, just that experience was worth more than I can say. Some of the museums are only open to medical professionals, so it could be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for them to go as part of a medical professional group. Um, I felt like I learned so much and I saw so many um, interesting specimens that I may never be able to see again in my life. Um, but if I do see them, I'll know because I had gone on this trip.